Hi, in this video I am going to demonstrate you how to download SAP GUI for Windows system. You must have a SAP GUI download link. So I have my link with me. I have to open Google Chrome and paste the link here. It will take me to the new Windows, SAP GUI window which have two, uh, two icons, say Windows GUI and Mac GUI. I have to download it for Windows. I have to click Windows GUI. After that, it will go to the download and then it will ask me to sign in with my Google because it's a Google Drive link and to access the download link, I have to enter my Gmail ID. So I have to enter my Gmail ID and I have to again refresh the link so that I will tell him that I have been logged in. So I have to close it because I will already tell you we have to refresh it until I refresh it will not show the download link so I have closed it now again refresh the link goes for the window GUI and now you are able to see that I have already logged in it shows that it's login with my gmail id go to the download it will show the download link I have click on download so it's a GIF file so we have to download the WinRAR meanwhile we have to download and install WinRAR file go to the WinRAR we have to directly download it from the WinRAR website because it's a free download software with 40 day trial so we have to go and download WinRAR download and your download is start in a small bit of time it starts so till my SAP GUI has been downloaded I am going to install WinRAR go to my download folder and going to install it double click it yes install ok done so I have done my work, I have installed WinRAR, so I am wait for my SAP GUI JIF file to be downloaded. It is depend on your network speed, internet speed basically, that how much time it take, uh, take to download the SAP GUI. So you have to require, the requirement is you must have your download link. And after that download, we I will show you how to create a connections, a new connections to connect SAP GUI to your SAP server. So I am going to wait for my download to be finished. And there are some requirements for creating the connections. We require some descriptions that are provided to you by your education institute, your server provider, or by your company. So I'm going to skip this and, and continue when my download has been completed. So you have seen the file has been downloaded. Now I go to my download file folder again. And the GIF file is there. So I'm going to extract it. Right click, extract file. Okay, so again it will take time depend on your processor speed. So I am using virtual machine with 2 GB of RAM, 60 GB of hard disk and 2 cores. So depend on your processor, it will take time. So I am again going to skip it and show you when my extraction has been completed. So the extraction has been completed. I have a folder, SAP GUI 7.40. Click on it, go to the next, press one folder, GUI folder, Windows, Win32, and go for SAP GUI setup. Double click on it. Yes. My SAP GUI front end installation installation has begun. Next, select all. Next. Next. 
and the installation has been begun so it's again depend on your processor speed how much time it takes but it does not take much time than two maximum two minutes for me I am again going to pause it and so you when the installation has been completed so you have been seen that installation has almost been completed fill is close and you have seen SAP logon icon is on my desktop this is access to the SAP UI so I have to double click it now I see this screen there are no connections so now I have to create a connection to access to the SAP software so now the requirements are I have required some details like descriptions, application server, system ID, instance number. So I have to click on new. Then user specified system next. Description. Description should be anyone either you provided by your server provider or you can write it anything which has been uh, readily read by you that is FICO, MM, anything. Application server is the IP that is used to connect to the SAP software. Instance number provided by your sub server provider, system ID also and after that you have to click on finish. Now you have seen connection has been created by name SAP access. Double click on it. It will connecting me to the SAP software. Now for login you require credential, username, password provided to you. So I am using my credential to log into the SAP system. And it's done. So I, am, I, I install the system, create the connections and enter into the SAP software. Now you have to do whatever, whatever transaction codes you have to be checked or pick care do some training part so this is all how we install SAPJOI in a window system so if you have any call queries feel free to contact me on the comment section or you can see that my contact details in the descriptions thank you